Hello modis, how are you? My name is Tamiris. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, we're gonna unbox my Ipsy Boxy Charm of September. Let's go. So the first thing I noticed is that the box got a little bit smaller. What happened, Ipsy? Also, the choices this month were really, really bad. Let's hope that all the products are inside of the box. First product here was Ipsy Choice and it's the YC Collection Neria Cream Eyeshadow. It comes with 0.47 foot ounces. It's very small. I have never heard about this brand before. And the shade looks like a pinky copper metallic shadow it's actually really pretty this costs 21 dollars a little pricey because it comes very little product next product is the eloise beauty flawless loose setting powder in vanilla another brand that i never heard of before it comes with a little sponge and it's actually sealed here so that's good but it's just a regular loose setting powder and it costs 35 dollars now in my first selection i chose the pure least beauty sheer glow strawberry vitamin t tinted moisturizer in light medium this is not a new brand for me so that's why i chose it and i am in a vibe of a more natural coverage so i decided to get this the product is very liquidy but i think the shade will work and this one costs 36 dollars it's a little bit on the pricey side for tinted moisturizers but it has a lot of things so if it is good it might be worth it my second selection was the J Lo beauty that star filter complexion booster in pink champagne i don't think i have anything from J Lo beauty maybe i received one thing in another ipsy but i don't remember and this i chose because i think it was one of the only things that were makeup and it's kind of like a product you can use under foundation or you can use as a highlighter it's very very shiny very pretty look at that this one costs 39 dollars Last but not least, my last choice was the Ofra Cosmetics Airbrush Setting Powder in Strawberry. It has a twist seal. I chose this product because I don't think I have any pink powders and I kind of want a pink powder. So I chose that. And this one costs $23. So it's not super expensive. So the total of my box is $154. It's a very low value considering other months we have boxes they are like 200 230 and the products are just okay it is all makeup at least which i like but it is just like not the most exciting product but we're gonna give it a try all of these products right now so the jlo product you can use under foundation you can mix with foundation you can use as highlighter and depending on the shade as a bronzer so i'm gonna use a little bit in one side of my face and in the other side i'm just gonna use the tinted moisturizer without this product this looks very pretty, very glowy. Gives a little bit of color because it's pink, so you can see a little bit of difference. Now let's use the tinted moisturizer. It's very, very, very fluid. So I'm gonna use a brush to blend because it's so fluid. If I use a beauty blender, most of the product will stay in the beauty blender. I think that shade was a good choice what do you guys think yeah i think it's a good shade match 
I wasn't expecting anything from this Jintun moisturizer, but it looks so good. The shade match, amazing. And I think you can see that this side here is just a little bit more glowy than this side here. This side that I used the JLo product. But it's not like a huge, huge difference because the tinted moisturizer is also kind of glowy as well. You can see it right here. It's very, very pretty, lightweight. Don't feel like I'm wearing anything. I I really like this. I thought I was not going to like it. We promise a light coverage and a subtle glow. I would say it gives even like a light to medium coverage. I didn't even use that much product and it cover a bunch of my dark spots. I'm gonna hydrate my lips with the JLo Beauty Bissell Balm. I got this one from the other Ipsy, so I just decided to use it today. Oh yeah, this is very good. Mm-hmm. Very hydrating. Tastes amazing. Mm. Delicious. Now in one side I'm gonna use the Eloise powder and the other side I'm gonna use the Ofra powder. Let's see if there's any difference. So I'm gonna use the Eloise on this side of my face. Another product that I actually liked. It gives like a little blurring effect. I don't know if you guys can see in the camera, but in real life you can see it. It's very fine. I like it. Now on this side, I'm gonna use the pink. That's, that's very pink. The camera is not getting all the pinkness. <sighs> oh boy. Yeah, I don't know if the camera is picking up even up close this is so pink besides leaving me looking like peppa pig this actually has a nice blurring effect i just not sure about the pink let me know in the comments below if you have tried another pink powder if it leaves your skin pink or just natural i really want to know just gonna do my eyebrows here real quick quick i'm using the benefit um gimme brow plus now let's try the eyeshadow i'm just gonna use a beige shadow on my crease to give a little bit of dimension now let's see how the eyeshadow looks in the eye I'm also going to use a little bit in the inner corner in the lower lash line. And I'm going to blend the outer corner with the beige brown shadow. If this eyeshadow doesn't budge or doesn't crease, this will become my favorite eyeshadow because it looks very shiny and the color is very pretty. Just going to do some mascara right now. And there you go, guys. This was a more natural makeup we didn't have any blush or bronzer i guess we could use this as a highlighter let's see how it would look like let's see if it works as a highlighter on top of powder Okay, I love this as a highlighter. At the same time, it's very intense. It does not look like a highlighter because it just blends so well into your skin. So it looks like, oh, this? You think it's a highlighter? No, this is just my skin. I'm glowing from the inside. It's so, so good. Wow. Yeah, I, I actually love this as a highlighter. Look at this. Let me talk a little bit about the products because I am happily surprised with most of them. 
The J-Lo, what do you call that star filter? Awesome, amazing. I love as a highlighter, looks so good. I didn't like this much under foundation. Maybe if I mix with foundation, will give my skin a little bit more glow, but as a highlighter, 10 out of 10. The tinted moisturizer, I thought I was not gonna like, but it looks so pretty. It's glowy, it has coverage, it doesn't crease. So I'm happily surprised with this product here, 10 out of 10. The Eloise powder is not a super exciting product, but it's very fine. It gives a little blurring effect. So I also liked the Ofer powder. I like the effect it gives on the skin. I think it might be too pink for my skin tone, but I'm not gonna use this again maybe use with a brush instead of a um, sponge. Right now, it does not look that pink like it was before. I need to try a little bit more to see if I like it or not. The eyeshadow was another happy surprise. It didn't budge, it didn't crease. I love the color and I love how shimmery it is. So Ipsy actually made a good job with my box this month. I was thinking it was gonna be like matte, but four out of five products I liked. What do you think? Did you like the products that I received? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe, it means the absolute world to me, and hit that bell button so you can get a notification of my future uploads. A big kiss, and I'll see y'all in my next video.